What's up guys? Big Sarge. Uh, I promised you guys another video on the same type of system with the Black & Decker Power to Go CPI 10B. This is a 10 watt unit. Um, now with this unit there is a CPI 100B model that you can use. It's a 100 watt model and it has two, I believe, two 110s and two USB plugs. Um, the reason I mention that is because what I've came up with is a solar panel like this has a base and you can set it upright, twist it to capture the sunlight. Now I wouldn't use this if I was backpacking just because this unit here, let me grab this to give you guys a better view. Uh, this unit here is a good setup for like a base camp. Say you're going camping for a few days and you want to um, have a renewable resource to charge up some electronics, this would probably be the I ideal way to do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this back up here, talk to you a little bit. Uh, that would probably be the best way to capture the sunlight. Um, it's not very heavy. The biggest thing is the solar panel, as I said. Um, but it puts out great, great energy. Charges this up like a champ. Um, your, this solar panel that I have here will do about 14.4 volts, which is the equivalent to a car alternator um, under load. Um, this unit here uh, needs a minimum of 7.2 volts inputted um, up to 14.4. So, um, again, as I mentioned in the other video, you need to have an understanding of voltages um, watts, amperage, and electricity in, in itself. You need to have a good understanding of that. Um, I've done the, the math and the calculations because this here needs 2.5 amps to charge, so I've done the, the calculations and this system works perfect. Um, the output, 115 volts, uh, 60 hertz at 10 watts, and 5 volts direct current, 350 milliamps for the USB. Um, this unit here will work and serve as a great, great recharging device. Uh, again, as I said, you can get the 100 watt unit, which you can put in, I believe, multiple cell phones or laptop computer, whatever you're charging off of this. But this unit here is definitely, definitely easy to make. Again, like I said, I've taken the end of this here. Let me get it here. I got the, I left enough cable on here just to to be able to run this if I need to run it up a tree or uh, further away if I'm under shade I need to run it out by sunlight and what I've done is I've got a plug that'll fit it done a nice solder job in there sealed it up and then that unit would plug into here like that and there you have it you have a solar charging system for the same Black & Decker power to go that I mentioned earlier with the hand crank device that I had. So now you have two ways. If you're backpacking, you want to kind of go light. This isn't too heavy. Maybe I've cut this down by taking everything out about four ounces or so. And then you've got this. This is probably uh, 10, or, 10 or 12 ounces. Um, but like I said, the biggest thing is it's bulky. It's lightweight, but it is bulky. So. Okay, guys. Well, please, comments. We love to hear them. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we definitely appreciate our viewers, and we're going to have some new videos coming up. We're planning a couple day hikes, a uh, couple, couple overnight trips we're planning right now. Uh, we're going to be bringing Mickey Z out, um, testing out some of his skills. So, we will see you guys next time. Have a great day.